I know this isn't the best quality of my solar panel, but I'm trying to connect these. Um, it's dark outside, so that's why it's so dark on this video. But I'm trying to connect these solar panels into the house. Now, I'm no electrician, and I'm not touching the breaker box wires. What I'm doing is, see they had an old generator running through this slot right there on the corner. Well, I can't, I can't really point to it. Got my hands full. But I'm running that black wire and it has that connection right there. So I'm running it in to uh, the main wire box here. Um, I'm just not connecting it to the breakers. So I'm running that straight into the laundry room, which I'll go around and show. So I have my wire coming from the outside. I just punched a hole in the panel in there and it went right through. And I've got that, this wire coming from the outside is connected obviously here to the back of my con charge controller, which is this one right here going to the solar panel. And then I got a wire, a couple wires coming from the battery terminals on the charge controller. And I'm just going to hook these in, which is black here and red positive over here. And this is just 12 volts, so I'm not too scared of getting shocked. <clears throat> now, I should be able to turn this on. And it's reading over 12 volts, which is a good sign. Because this is a 12 volt battery. So... I can just leave that on. Now, if you if you get one of these Harbor Freight panel uh, solar panel kits, they're really easy to use. I just leave this power turned on, and you can turn the the numbers off. So that way, it's not using that power from the screen. And that way, when the sun comes out, it'll keep charging this battery even when the screen's not on. 